Hey guys, it's Pam. Welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. Um, I just lost about 5-10 minutes of footage because I was recording when I thought I wasn't and I wasn't recording when I thought I was. So that wasn't too bright of me. Um, what the hell? Do you want to fight or not, buddy? Um, anyway, I uh, didn't really lose anything of importance, just killing some more zombies and not getting anywhere. I'm looking for a certain fireplace, I'm pretty sure. And it, maybe it's this one. It looks like it has two statues on either side. Nope, that's not it. But I did find some loot that I missed before. Um, I went around downstairs. Didn't seem to have any luck. I'm going to come back through the bed chambers and see if it's in one of there. In one of those. Because it seems like maybe it might be. Like, we've got these statues here, but they're not. There's no fireplace. And I'm pretty sure... That's what I'm seeing with the um, the thing. So we'll come back out this way. There's a couple of zombies right here. Oh, yep, yeah, it's sitting in here. Um, so you missed you missed absolutely nothing but me wandering around looking for where I am right now. So, and I am recording now. So I'm just double checking because oh my god, I'm very annoyed. It's the fireplace up here. Um, yep, two statues on either side. Find that portrait. So now this one is going to be back in the ballroom. So that's where we have to go now. Once you've been around here a few times and you kind of start getting used to where everything is, it makes it a lot easier. It's sort of like one of these places where it's very carefully set up as a maze that you can only go in one direction at any given time, but sort of not. I mean, you actually can go around, so it is designed more like an actual house that somebody would live in. Um, I mean, when you're in an actual place, you don't find yourself choked, you know, by only going one way. I need to get this guy out of the way. Like that. Is that a growl? Oh, it's the one over here. Okay. The one that the dragon, the faux dragon, is looking at. They could have at least painted it. And then where its tail is pointing, I think, is where my, my key is. So yeah, I feel kind of stupid. I was like, it's recording, right? Nope, it sure wasn't. A reminder. A shakily written note. There is no one left to remind me. I can't trust the thoughts in my head. Some of them are hers, but these are mine. Key to balcony. Do not use. It won't make you better. They lied. She lied. So I don't know what that means. Do I have the key now? All I can do is try. I do. Hello, more zombies. So I think there's like a final boss. It's like a one of those mage thingies, or I, yeah. Uh, real good words. I can use them. But first, we're going to see what we can do about this thing. Look at that guy just standing here. Ten cunning gained. Oh, he's down there. That's right. The... We're not alone. Uh, yeah, the arcane horror. Um, yeah, we'll take care of him in a second. Cole, if you don't mind... Thank you. Like I say, this is why you always have a balanced party. So we're going to take care of this guy. Lord Dontier's journal. This journal dip entry is dated 927 Dragon. That circle Templar is demanding another payment. Greedy bastard. Taking advantage of us all these years because we wanted to preserve our good family name. He promised to silence the mage once he once returned to his circle. But that doesn't protect us from the Templar. 
I wonder, though, was it enough? No, the maid was strong. Even I could sense it. It was terrifying. There is no way the child could break through. She doesn't even need training. So long as she stays aside, everything will be all right. No one will ever know. Nobody needs to know. Yeah, excuse me while I quote Hamilton. Mosaic piece. So yeah, you have to do that for some of this. More loot. Um, the good news is killing that um, arcane horror is going to finish off this place and break the uh, break the curse. God, there's still more over here. And there's something outside too. God. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. All right, so we can actually just jump down, but we can't actually go back out um, with, because of those barriers. So we have to jump down and and fight the guy. Fortunately, they've given us a nice little path straight to him, so. No, you, I want you. Piece of shit. I hate these guys. Oh, we're teleporting. Uh, and that was wasted. Now. Really? Can I just knock him down? There we go, and that should take care of the. Only the anger was left. We made it stop. I believe we put the worst of it to rest. Perhaps now this place will be as quiet as it seemed. Hopefully, yeah. Um, we can also get out of here now. Thank God. So yeah, that's the chateau. Um, really, I, it it would have been nice if it had only taken one episode, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. Oh, that's the other. I could have had Cole unlock that at any time. Um, apparently, I, I think I just left my recording going. I forgot to stop it after last time. It again, it's been so long since I've played, and I see all those unnatural lights are are uh, out. Is there a door down here? Can I open this one now? That's still locked from the other side. I think that's just the, um... You know what? I never did go in, in there. But I did at least complete this quest. I want to go check out that, um... That other side. Oh my god. Are you serious right now? weird calls. This one's saying it's from the state of T Texas, TCE. Um, I guess it might be some kind of debt collector, but I never did go over here, did I? Well, now it'll be easy to... Yeah, this is the lower level of the ballroom. I can't believe I didn't go in here. Ever. There's a very nice dancing floor, obviously. It'll be nice to... It, it's nice to imagine this place actually having a life again, um, you know, now that that's dealt with, but that family, you got to feel for them. I mean, I, it pisses me off to think that people would try to contain what their, their, their child is. The torn diary page. I had to make myself breakfast this morning. It wasn't very good. When I saw mother and father, I couldn't stop crying. I didn't know what to do. My friend says there's a way to be less lonely. She says not to be afraid. There are other games we can try, and I will feel better. So I don't know what sequence that falls in all of that. But, um, the poor girl, um, obviously, you know, was, uh, given over to corruption. Yep, so that'll take us back there. And now we can leave. Not like we couldn't leave, but you know, now we're now we're done with everything for sure. So, um, that's the chateau, and the only other thing. Oh, yeah, I have to. Hmm. See, I can't remember. I'm going to. Uh. I'm going to go over to where those elves were excavating and see if they're still there. 
I think there's like a war table mission that I have to do to offer to help them or something. And then you come back and they've all been killed. Um, which I don't, I don't know how, what was going on there. Probably just some random person came on them or Templars or something. Um, thing about giants. But I remain intrigued, for they have hands, and that means the potential to raise them in praise. Anything that, with a pulse, you think you're going to convert. Mm. Uh, so let's see. I think I talked about, or I was going to talk about episode prompto. From Final Fantasy 15 because that just came out. Um, good stuff. I really enjoyed it. Um, what was I going to do? Oh yeah. Um, I need to go back. Not there. Oh, I was still going to do the thing. Alright, I need to go down here, basically. So, probably... Uh, what's my best bet? I wish I could just fast travel to the mine. Mine that would be the easiest. But I do still want to go over to <clears throat> where those guys were excavating, which is up here. You can't see my air, my my cursor, but it's to the east of so the big tower in the middle. But first, I am going to go down here and see if we can get this other quest started. So I'm going to pull it up on my iPad because my laptop is being wonky and super slow and very annoying um, Parsons battered notebook is the quest and let's just get mounted up here because I'm gonna I'm gonna need to ride a little bit horsey I love my big horsey it's pretty I really should ride a heart you know for the elf thing but I just like this one a lot oh, there's a couple of our scouts so we need to come down here. I should I should mark where I'm going on my map because it's gonna it's kind of over here ish. I wanna make sure I'm heading in the right direction, that's all. Like I know this place enough to be fairly sure where I'm going, but It always is just one thing after another around here. More scouts. Oop, I don't want to run into things. Oh, those poor nugs. Squealing. Alright. Now we're going to come along this way. And... The heck? Oh, those are just statues. I'm just going to look at the map here. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost there. In fact, I think it might be up here. <laughs> hmm. Nope, I think we need to go a little bit further down the river. Like, it almost where it empties into the mine. The Viridium Mine. Yeah, I think I actually marked just about the right spot. Sorry, my horsey. Run away! Run away! Yep, there's the, the hill. Yeah, there's it. There's it. <laughs> there's it. God, I've lived in, in semi-south for far too long. Um, even living on the border of Kentucky is bad. So this is where the quest starts. Parsons Battered Notebook. Beyond Andraste's Mercy. A Hundred Steps to Revelation. I don't know what it means. Is it allegory? I don't even know where Father got this mess of rambling. He spent his whole life figuring out that it pointed to objects in the Emerald Graves, and now I have to finish the job. This is going to kill me. Why would his divine wish, dying wish be that I figure it out? What sort of father asset of a son? And here we have this whole list of things. The first clue is in the first line of the codex, which points to number 12. Canons that are, no. Beyond Andrasi's mercy, a hundred steps to revelation. 
So, um, which it's nice that they, uh, uh, they kind of highlighted that in the first, uh, part of that so you don't have to keep going through these confusing lines of whatever they are, clues. Okay, dismount. Okay, so now I need to go somewhere around here. I'm looking at my thing. Um, the next clue is found in my search, searching northwest of the X. Um, between the outer wall of Villa Morel and a large tree, look north from the easternmost point of the wall, as indicated on the map. That's the Villa Morel. So I think I need to go... Uh, somewhere over here, which is a lot farther than Andraste's Mercy. Um, but you know what? We're just going to walk this one. And apparently you can start from like the third step or whatever it is around the Lions Pavilion, but the, wait a second, the easternmost point? Look north from the easternmost point of the wall as indicated on the map. Oh, I see it. Okay, so I'm actually in the right place right now. So I need to go north. How about that? Oops. Look around. Look around, look around. Patterson, <sighs> Parsons better notebook, notebook. Inscribed on the strange cube, a crude three. This will give you the second clue, which points to number three on the list. Arching above outstretched wings, even stone can rise. Follow the road from Andraste's Mercy t towards the Lion's Pavilion. You will come to a gap in the rocks next to a statue of the Owl. So, we're following the road. I'm sorry, I'm just reading directly from the wiki now because I do not have the patience uh, to follow the clues. Hi, fucking Freeman. You know, I noticed I was saying in the, the previous episode that I posted, which I recorded a good couple of weeks ago, um, how it's so much nicer when you don't have to deal with all this shit while you're going through, but you still have to deal with all this. You know, it's they're just less, um, less obtrusive, I guess. I'm looking for a gap in the rocks. I think it's over here. Maybe. I may, oh no, this is it. Oh, hey, there's deep mushroom in here. A gap in the rocks. Follow the road northwest towards the Lion's Pavilion. This is northwest. Climb up the rocks to reveal a search. Okay, so I need to, I haven't ever actually done this all the way through. Um, all I did in the past was just go straight to the pavilion, so I'm just intrigued to see all the steps of the puzzle. Rash fine. No, I can get up there. No. Come on. Come on. Fine, I'll go back around. Assuming I can. I don't know what rocks I'm supposed to be. I guess up there. seems like I should be able to. Yeah, there we go. And there's the search. Perfect. And a crow. Hello, Liliana. Where is it? Am I too far? I went too far. Or did I? There we go. That was not there a second ago. The number nine is carved onto each surface of another cube. That'd be something fun at the end of this. Well, at least I got up here. Okay, so for some reason this leads you towards... Oh, number nine on the list. Oh, okay. So if I went back and looked at my codex... Um, 
I don't want to be in there. Why am I in there? Why am I looking at a Prius du Leon? Oh, I don't even have, the, yeah, because it's not even listed. Um, can I go into, how do I go into my codex? Can I do that? No, I don't want history. Letters and notes. Wow, this, is, this isn't this is really helpful either. Notes found in a mage's hut. The diary of Troilus. Stronghold. Parsons better notebook. So number three. <coughs> number three was arching above outstretched wings. Even stone can rise. Nine says dragon slayers. Four at the northwest. Two from the northeast. Three from the southeast. And that's referring to very in a very obscure way the lion's pavilion which as you can see we have arrived at nugs i'm not gonna hurt you and then the the directions are talking about uh have to do with the orientation of the torches in here so you have to do uh, face the statue inside the pavilion and use the back wall as north so yeah um Let's see. It isn't referring to the compass direction on the map. So for, for purposes of this, I'm looking north, that's east, that's south, that's west. So light the torches in accordance, northwest torch four times. Because see, these go out right away. Two, three, Four, and then northeast torch twice. And southeast torch three times. Two, three. Oh, look at that. All four torches and a cube rotating around here. 20 is penned in red. And 20 is at the first breadth of size. So now we have to go up to the rush of size, um, which is probably going to be easiest. We're basically heading over in that direction. Uh, let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just get away from here. I could have sworn I got that logging stand over there before, but whatever. Um, oh, bloodstone that I don't need. Come here. The rush of size was where one of those particularly obnoxious um, uh, rifts was. And I'm really... I should have just gone to the camp. Whatever. Come on, don't make me go all the way, all the, I don't want to go all the way around, I'm so tired of going all the way around. Can I, please, please, watch me be a complete stupid idiot for 20 minutes. Don't you love this game? Should have just gone to the goddamn camp. Why do you have to be such a doofus all the time? Why do you have to insist on doing things your own way? Sorry, that was the voice of my mother all of a sudden just came pouring out of my mouth. That was so weird. Okay. Um, here's the rush of size. I did get a quarry over here, but um, we need to be directly north of the pavilion, so we need to be somewhere around there. Oh, look, another bear. <laughs> uh, all I do anymore, kill bears and uh, pluckers. Oh, he actually brought down some of my guards. Come back here, you piece of crap. Where do you think you're going? I need to finish killing you, buddy. Okay, or I could just jump around for a while. There we go. You can't hurt me. <laughs> Cole is so sweet. 
right there. You ask a lot of questions, Dorian. I'm curious about you. I had no idea something like you was possible. I'm curious about you, too. You can ask me questions if you like. Not sure why you'd want to, but... Oh, good. Thank you. I'm going to regret this, aren't I? Yeah, probably, but you know. Okay, so somewhere around here, we should start seeing our search circle. Oh, look. Buns. That's a beefy elf. I am, um, yeah, pretty much directly north. Follow this river until you reach a waterfall. So I know where I'm going. I didn't have to just go north. I could have just come up here because, yeah. Anyway, more nugs. Um, so Cole and Dorian just hit an interesting milestone because now Cole is going to ask Dorian lots of very um, potentially painful questions. I hope this is the right waterfall. This is the one where I got that ever right before, I think. Yep. Okay, good. Little Doug. And another cube. The number 14 is embossed all over the last pet. And 14, I'm not going to go back. Hi. Excuse me. Um, can you get over there easily or no? I have to go there. For fuck's sake! How many goddamn bears are there in this wood? Good hide out of it. But man. On the positive side, we're nearly done with this quest. Really? Really? Oh, it's Sigil of the Great Bear. Really? This Bronto just decided to wander in and start playing? I am so tired of this. I'm not landing any heads, is my problem. There we go. Once you get their guard down, they're not bad at all. Bronto hide is especially nice for, um, crafting, too. But, yeah, now I have to come over here. At least I think I'm going in the right direction now. An upward pointing finger, there your heart lies. I have to go to South Finger Tower. Hey, guess what? It's right in giant territory. Well, I'm gonna go get this quarry first. This quarry, which was not here before. I was here, not long ago. Logging stand, whatever. Um, alright. We're going to get on horseback again. I was really hoping to finish this up. Maybe I'll just let this episode run a tiny little bit longer. Hi, horsey. And maybe if I'm super lucky, I was just going to say, maybe if I'm super lucky, there won't be any giants, but <laughs> then one popped into view. So clearly I'm not going to be super lucky. I swear to God, they only populate areas with these nice flat stones. Fall off the edge, my horsey. Now I'm starting to wish I'd invested points in making sure that I can survive uh, an attack on the horse. Don't notice me, don't notice me. What in heck is happening right now? Well, that was weird. No, no, go away! I don't want, I don't want to. it through? I think I made it through. Okay. I've been through this area a couple times now. This is where I had to... Ooh. Okay, we're, we're dismounting. Thank you, horsey. 
You are a good horsey. Um, God, <laughs> I had such a turn. I turned around and they were just there. Like that really kind of freaked me out for a second. Okay, so I need to be an upward pointing finger. Search on the southwest side. You don't need to, you cannot access the tower itself. The search is on the ground below. <sighs> See, Dorian can walk up there. How come I can't? This is going to be a pain. Southwest side. So, over there. Oh, don't tell me I can't get up here. I'm going to cry right now. Really? Don't you love when you jump and you jump away from something? Isn't that what you were trying to do? There we go. Jeez. So yeah, giants apparently respawn just like bears do. Maybe there's a connection there. Somewhere around... Oh, hey, how about that? Did I not pinpoint that well? Or what? Okay. And this one is... Oh, the misshapen child's doll. Now I'm going to get attacked. that quest. So that's Pe Parsons Battered Notebook. A very strange uh, little quest. And all you get out of that is some frost essence and a child's misshapen doll. So, you know, not sure if it's even worth it. For some reason I thought it ended on that other area over where we were before. So I'm glad I grabbed that longing stand. Um, also, you can't go in the tower unfortunately because I think it would be really cool. But we're going to end this episode now because I am thoroughly tired of the ammo graves. We are done here. Um, oh, shoot. I was going to go check out the Knight's Tomb. And we're right over here, so let's go back and do that. I mean, we are basically done. This episode is not that, that far over. And I can just jump and slide down here. Pick up some Prophet's Laurel while I'm at it. Um... There should be no more Templars over there, so that place is not an issue. That one's kind of a specific spawn because there's a, a one of the bottles of, um, of Thetis there. Am I in the right area? It looks like I'm in the right area. Yeah, there it is. I'm just going to slide down the edge here. Check and see if these guys are still here. I have to go do that war table mission. Oh, Grenan's Bastion. Yeah, they're still here. All right, so we're going to leave this episode for now. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and um, please come back and see me next time. I'm just trying to get a good closing shot here as the green slowly fades away. So, all right, thanks. See you next time. Bye.